What is up, everybody? It is Cinco de Mayo, 2023, May 5th. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, this is the, the aftermath of the storm. So we're gonna start, we're gonna do the entire valley and we're gonna start off going over to Baldwin's side of the valley first. And uh, just so you guys can see, there's probably not gonna be any snow over there. And then maybe over over by the dam and parts of Fonskin, we, we might have a little bit, but got the wifey with me. Hi. <laughs> And the doggies, I don't know if, if you can see them anywhere, but they will be cruising up, I'm sure, while we're on the drive. So yeah, we, were, we are going to uh, let you guys say hello to the doggies. So yeah, we ended up getting at my house about just, just over an inch of snow. Wasn't much. Some parts of town saw about three inches. Other parts didn't see even a full inch. And this morning, I got my Harley Davidson back. It's got the, the brand new 117 engine a brand new screaming eagle stage four kit the thing is an absolute rocket but when i took it to my friend's shop because we were, we were going to go for a ride around the lake um it started misfiring with a brand new engine it's it's such a pain in the butt but um they're going to come pick it back up this next week and uh try and fix it for me or not try they are going to but it's it's, it's been so frustrating they've had my bike over a year my engine blew up and thank goodness I bought the extended warranty on everything when I first bought the bike brand new. And uh, as I said, thank, thank goodness because it, it was just under $12,000 for, for the fix and I didn't have to pay anything. So, but it's, it's, it feels great, it feels smooth. I mean, guys, it was so nice riding it to my friend's shop, to Knight's Auto. And as I told you guys about Knights Automotive, whenever you guys are up here, if you ever come into any car issues, I trust my friend Dave so much. He's he's the owner, Dave Knight, um, that if you feel like you're being ripped off on your service, I'll pay for your service. So that that's how much I I trust him. I've 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 known him since he was an employee there, and then the owner retired, and Dave bought it from him and Dave's my like main Harley riding friend uh, just a good dude so if you guys need anything done to your vehicles while you're up here if if something happens please please understand I trust him so much that I'll pay for your service if it if, if you got ripped off so he's, he's not gonna rip you all off he's a really really good dude a good family man but yeah I was hoping that I'd have my bike because tomorrow I want to go do a ride around the lake on the motorcycle for you guys. I'm telling you guys, those those motorcycle videos I've done are so incredible because it feels like you're watching someone flying. It's it's really really neat. There's no obstructions. Like, what are you doing, babe? It's stopping her from oh from eating like, her butt. And she oh yeah, it. yeah. She, our poor little dog. She's got like the worst itch on her butt and she keeps on biting at her butt but then when i stop her she gets super mad she gets me. yeah she, she, she yeah she, she, she gets mad at her mommy our doggies are so so cute so special but yeah guys so look we're we're already we're in just the the beginnings of big bear city and there's hardly any snow as you can see um just wait till we get out further you're probably not gonna see anything once we get through Baldwin Lake and what I did for you guys <laughs> which uh, I know I, sh I should be doing all the time is I got the car washed and I even uh, kicked my laziness away a bit and washed the inside of the windshield so you guys can see a lot better so I hope everything's looking good for y'all um, yeah so uh, I also want to say thank you guys again. I, I can never thank you guys enough for all the beautiful comments you guys leave. You guys are so sweet to me. You guys really make me feel so good inside. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. As you guys know, like uh, I've suffered from severe depression and uh, you guys have been such a light at the end of the tunnel for me. So, th so thank you guys so much for that. The kindness is, uh, I, I, I can feel it so much. So thank you. Yeah, right now we are in Big Bear City. For those of you who like little 
Big Bear knickknacks and smoke shops and stuff like that. Right here, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. Tremendous place. A, a good friend of mine owns it. His name is Sahil. If you guys tell him that you're you're my friend, he'll take care of you guys. So let me let me uh hang on a second. Go ahead. Sorry, I, I have a, a phone call coming in. Give me a second, guys. Okay. I'm gonna crack the window for a minute, you guys, because it's really hot. Or actually, I'll put on the AC. That's what I'll do. So I hope you all are having a great day today. Please be safe out there today, you guys. If you're planning on celebrating Cinco de Mayo, please just celebrate responsibly. I don't, I don't, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I don't want to hear anything bad or sad regarding you guys. So please just party responsibly today, and, um, and yeah, just have a, a beautiful day today. so disappointed about my, my, my Harley, you guys. My goodness. When I bought the bike, I bought like so much aftermarket stuff, um, like really high-end stuff. And apparently I have some, some sort of an, an aftermarket pro tuner or something like that that I don't know a thing about it. And that, that could be what the issue is if, if they didn't tune it with the brand new engine and the brand new uh, rocket upgrade. <laughs> so we'll see. You guys will know everything's working out fine when we take it out for a ride. I'm excited to do that video for you guys. We're gonna do a lot more Harley riding this summer for the channel. Because as I said, it's just an, un there's, it's an unob unobstructed view of everything. There's no there's nothing like this. It's just it's just open, it's just wide open. It's it's so beautiful. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Look at them. Look at them. All right, guys. Luna, say hi. Hey, Theo. Theo. Theo, buddy. Theo, buddy. Oh, look at how cute. They are just so cute. They are so cute. They love you guys a lot. I tell them all the time how awesome you guys are and how well you treat us. And guys, hopefully in the next week or two, we're going to be meeting up with our friend Ben Brissy of bensweather.com to maybe go out to lunch and then just uh, chat. And uh, I want to put him in a video for you guys just so you guys can see the man, the myth. And if there's any questions you guys have for him after we do the video, feel free to ask in the comment section. I'll make sure he checks out the comments and responds. But he is our meteorologist up here and he's very, very, very well known for his meteorology. The guy's a super good dude. We are entering Baldwin Lake right now, you guys. We are on a road called Shea Road. Big Bear Boulevard, once you cross Highway 38, turns into Shea Road, S-H-A-Y. And this is the part of town you might not, like literally won't see any snow possibly anywhere. I'm excited to uh, see the discrepancy between this side and the other side. It's only about seven and a half miles or eight miles from one end of town to the complete other side so from at the end over here all the way back to the dam it's about seven and a half or eight miles
and that the, the, that the guy who dropped off the bike just left like 20 minutes ago and you might as well just call him to turn him around. So that's Baldwin. That really funny looking color, that's the water. Yeah, we're driving through one of my favorite parts of town. The reason I wouldn't live out here is because it's, it's just too far away from everything. And when we get any significant weather, it's really, really difficult to traverse back and forth. Of course, you guys know that's what I do for this channel anyway. I'm out in the worst of the weather, but where I live is centrally located. Literally, it's like the same distance to the dam as it is to out here from, from my house. I'm like right in the middle. But yeah, there's no snow over here. Amazing, isn't it? It's the same elevation, you guys, as the other side of town. It's just there are a few factors that come into play, and the biggest factor is just on, on the other side of these hills right here is the desert. So when these storms come in, they end up fighting with this really dry desert climate back here, and the desert climate will always win. It rips these low pressure systems apart. And then about 80 miles east of this area, you see them start to uh, come together again. It's pretty cool. But this side of town hardly gets any snow. And one issue they have out here is they deal with a lot of power outages, you guys. It gets really, really windy out here. As, as you can see, this whole area, there are hardly any trees. Um, and the wind just has its way. all that water in there but that water looks Why yucky it like milk? yeah it looks like milk that's a good question baby I have no idea all the years I've seen water in there I've never seen it that color It's really nasty but it's pretty it's an interesting look but yeah you got my mind thinking about swimming right now there's, there's just no way <laughs> no way and then check it out guys right here if you turn down one of these streets it'll take you miles and miles if you turn right it'll take you miles and it, it might even take you out of the mountain range eventually it's really cool how they have these uh, little roads that end up being just big, big, big roads. If I'm making any sense, I hope. Little roads that connect into the city. Eventually. Yeah. yeah. Back dirt roads, off roads that eventually drop you off in the city. Yeah. Like Palm, like uh, near Palm Springs and stuff like that. I remember one time I did take one of these roads off the back of Highway 18. I think it was Cactus Flats area, and I just wanted to see where it takes me I thought maybe it might go like a mile back and then you can't go any further but hours later I ended up in a town called Pioneer Town and I had never heard of it and and, and I was wondering if I if I was on a time machine or something because I was like what the heck just happened like how did I end up here 
from this little dirt road. Hey, chipmunk. So yeah, guys, there's no snow over here. As you can see, absolutely none. But that lake, man, it's, there's so much water in there. Is this a snake in the road? No, I don't run it over. I won't. Trash can't live. Live can't trash. All right, so right now, guys, we are we are on Baldwin Lake Road, coming up to Highway 18 on the backside. If you turn right at this stop sign coming up. You're, uh, we're just about at the beginning of the journey down the mountain. So if, if you turn right here, right at the top there, you turn left and then you will start start going uh, going down the mountain to Lucerne Valley, which is where I'm gonna be taking the Harley as soon as it as soon as it's ready. A year later. <laughs> as soon as it's ready, yeah. My good friend Dave, as I said, who owns Knights Automotive, Dave Knight. We're gonna go down to Cafe 247. Oh, I'm jealous of that guy on his bike. And for those of you who uh, wanna grab a bite to eat before you come up here, if you're on the backside, at the bottom where 18 and 247 is, there's a restaurant called Cafe 247. And I think you guys would really, really enjoy it. It's really good food in the middle of nowhere. They have barbecue. It's kind of a motorcycle joint, but everyone's super cool. They have live music there. It's pretty neat. Well, the water's definitely receding. Thanks, baby. That water is definitely receding. Guys, that's a big, big lake. And the crazy thing is, is that at no point while you're out there would the lake be over, over your head in, in height. I think it's it's like knee deep, maybe a little bit more, but not much. Look at all these cars leaving, babe. Bye. See ya. back way has really grown on me. When I first moved up here, the desert wasn't beautiful to me. It was kind of scary and just, uh, it would always give me anxiety. But now I love the desert, but I'm, I'm loving this lake. But that water just looks so weird. Very weird. Muddy? Yeah, maybe. It's just crazy to me because, yeah, like, uh, I remember when you only lived here for two years. Yeah, yeah, and it's been a long time. Wow, I can't believe how fast time goes, babe. It's crazy. It really is crazy. But when you're busy all the time, unfortunately, time does fly. fly. Yeah, that's just so, so beautiful. Over there is our water, uh, our water cleaning plant. And as I've told you guys, there's a program called the Lake Replenishment Act or something like that, where uh, if we get enough money to, uh, um, implement it, then what they're going to start doing is taking all of our sewer water. So everything that we flush down the toilet, everything from our sinks, and they're going to clean it and put it back into the lake. I know that sounds gross. But it'll be a good way
way to keep our lake full all the time. And that is the goal. I think we're close to about $15 million of the 55 or 60 million that we need to make that happen. What I'd like to see is just some super wealthy donor just say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make it happen and just cover the rest of the tab. That'd be awesome. Well, look at how beautiful that looks. Our mountains over there look like they have a nice uh, bit of hair on top of them, those clouds. It looks like a pompadour. Again, man. It's so pretty. That's the, that helicopter right there is the tour. Oh. Chopper. Okay. <laughs> bless you. Yeah. Yeah, bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, bless you too, Theo. And, and the dog sneezed too. That's hilarious. He likes to copy everything I do. He is a copycat. <laughs> he copies Luna with everything. He really does. temperature is not too much above freezing it's 46 we're just passing noon right now but that's something I I do enjoy about this time of year is that uh, when we do get snowstorms the snow melts away quickly it's the snow falling that I enjoy the most not necessarily having to walk around in deep snow for months at a time I like it when it snows a bunch and then it is gone side of town to the other and then from that point on uh, the further we go this direction we should be coming into a little bit of snow especially over by the eagle habitat I'm excited to see what we got going over there and that's Baker's Pond right there it's so pretty you can tell the huge difference in how the water looks from Baldwin to Baker's Pond and then Big Bear Lake Pretty, you guys, my goodness. Now 
next week, you guys, we're going to be doing an interview and a video at my favorite restaurant. I'm excited to do that. Hopefully, you guys are excited. Apparently, a lot of you have gone there because I have mentioned it, and you, you've been... I haven't heard one negative... Uh, no one's had any negative feedback about it. Look at the water on Big Bear Lake. It's, it's a bit choppy today. But it looks like water as opposed to Baldwin. Yeah, I know, it's so cool to see it. Like, way up here. And it's all the way to the rocks now. It's so great, babe. It is so great. It really transforms this town, you guys. For some reason, it just it just it makes this town ten times more more beautiful to have a lake almost full. A couple years back, I remember there were f dead fish floating everywhere. It was just a really awful situation up here. There were warnings about going out onto the lake or going into the lake, like jumping in and swimming, just because of how nasty and disgusting everything is. Just nasty. Oh wow, so pretty. Then I also mentioned to you guys, I'm gonna be getting a permit to record at the Discovery Center. I'm excited to do that as well for you guys, because I know they have a, a bunch of really good historical information and it'll be a good education for you guys who want to learn more about Big Bear because I'll be learning a whole bunch and there it is there's the Discovery Center right there I'll be learning a whole bunch more as well just keep in mind when I started doing this channel it was only to do the snowfall originally and any monsoonal thunderstorms um, learning the history of, of this town was not a big deal to me I really didn't think anyone would ever watch the channel, <laughs> you know? But now that I have had you guys with me for a long, long time, and some of you have literally been here five plus years of the eight years I've been doing this, like I've, I love you guys so much, and I wanna make sure that suggestions you guys have, that I do the best I can to, to fulfill them. And one of the compliments I've I received recently, and it's a compliment that has happened more often than I would ever expect, is that someone, God bless them, someone had lost a family member recently. And they said watching the channel has helped them so much just to get peace back in their life, back in their heart, and I mean, like literally made me ball my eyes out because it, to be able to have an impact like that, just just doing something like this makes me feel so unbelievably good because you know I'm I don't deal with uh, with with death well at all and I'm always worried every second of the day about my mom and dad who are very elderly and uh, you know I'm I'm always hoping that when that worst day of my life comes that I will have something I can, you know, have in my life to make me feel at, at peace. Obviously my wife is the gold medal prize there, but when it comes to like, uh, just something to really take my mind off of things, it, you know, I, I hope I, I, I can find something like I, like these people have found with me it's uh as i said one of the if not the greatest compliment that i could have ever received and anything i can do to be there for you guys because don't forget we are a family here we are a very close family the community here is absolutely just just absolutely beautiful um we got to stick together in this short life because life is short, life is rough. There's a lot of pain involved in this life. The older older we get, the more pain we we endure, and it's just uh, 
it's incumbent on our happiness in the future to really stick together, you guys. And as you guys know, I'm always going to be here for each and every single one of you. But yeah, so, so check it out. We're here in Fonskin. You can see little tiny, tiny patches of snow. But the further we go this direction, especially, as I said, over by the Eagle Sanctuary, we should be able to get get some more snow. But this is what I was telling people yesterday. Even in, the, in, in this part of town that we're about to enter where they got about three inches of snow yesterday, um, I didn't think that on this drive that we would even see any snow. That's how fast I thought it was gonna be melted away. And the temperature took a dive, didn't it guys? Look at that. Wow, it's dropping like crazy. It's 40 degrees now. I mean, it's, it's plummeting. Went from 46 five minutes ago down to 40. Okay, okay. downtown Fonskin, you guys. This is another part of town I would love to live, but it's it's too far away from everything. And for my for my job, because it's all driving, it would be really hard to be out here. It would cost me a fortune in gas. about to cross Grout Creek, our little tributary, our main tributary here. Right there. So pretty. Obviously we didn't get much of a good look there, but we will be coming back out here in a, a few days, maybe a week at the most, to see the water flow into the lake from my favorite tributary up here. At least the most pretty as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, now this is the part of town where we should be seeing some more snow. And right away, you can see on the side of the hills, this is the Eagle Sanctuary, the Eagle Habitat. Where Jackie and Shadow live. This whole part right here, guys, didn't have any water in it last year. This whole area right here. Unbelievable. It's really unbelievable, babe. I'm just blown away. seen some snow again.
didn't feel like there were any issues, but you could hear it. For those of you who, who know about bikes, I don't, but uh, um, how it sounds. So when it was in, in idle, it was sounding great. And then once I put it in gear, drove it to my friend's shop, took it, took it, uh, put it back in idle once I got there in neutral, it started sounding like it was, it, it was in gear. And uh, I let my service guy listen to it over the phone and he said that what it sounded like was that it was, it was running off of one cylinder. So he was like, yeah, we're definitely going to pick it up and, uh, and, and, and get it taken care of for you. But it's just a bummer because as you guys know, I've been waiting a year for this bike. And my brand new helmet feels amazing. I spent a fortune on this thing, but my goodness, I'll tell you what, it's the first helmet I've ever had that really fits perfectly. So comfortable, so lightweight. That's the type of stuff, you guys, that you want to spend a lot of money on, is your safety gear. My jacket's like close to a thousand bucks. Like it's, it's, it's just, you, you want to make sure that you have the best of the best when it comes to safety gear. And that's close to what my helmet costs too. to the John claude Van Dam. Look, look at the temperature, guys. It's dropped eight degrees since we've been on this journey. The other side of town, it topped off at 46 degrees over by Baldwin. Look at all the snow over here, babe. Wowzers. Wowza, wowza, wowza. Oh, I just love it here. All right, we're coming up to the dam right here. Thirty-seven degrees. Wow, dropping. So if you turn right here, this is how you exit town on the most traveled route up and down the mountain. Highway 18 on the front side is what we refer to it as. And for about an eight to 10 mile stretch, when you make a right, you're driving through what's called the Little Arctic Circle. And when you're coming up here, once you enter the Little Arctic Circle, you guys, about 50 yards up, there's a Lakeview Point or something like that. You can, you can pull over and you can look, uh, look across the whole valley and see Big Bear Lake from there. And it, it looks like a tiny little puddle from over there but it's uh yeah it's a beautiful view one year i flew flew my drone most of the way across it <laughs> oh this is terrific look at all the snow honey theo luna isn't it beautiful Yes, he did. I, I heard him. I heard him say yes. I just hope, Theo, that uh, that you keep this picture in your in your brain because this might be the last of it until next October, November, or December. I doubt it. Oh, I like your attitude. I like your attitude. I'm hoping we do get some more snow. Wow. Next this old... rain, extreme rain. No. No, because uh, our ex well, I mean, when it comes to thunderstorms, yes, the potential for really torrential rain is is there. But when it comes to storms, we don't get storms like we do in in the winter time, in the summertime. But you are right; we could get some some really massive thunderstorms. Which guys? Just so you know, all it takes is a few good-sized thunderstorms and our lake will be full. 
So let's let's keep our fingers crossed for a great monsoon season. As you guys know, like usual, I will be out doing what I do for the monsoon season. And I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super looking forward to the potential of filling this bad boy up, meaning the lake, La Lake. Oh, it's so pretty over here. It's just, this part of town feels like you're, you're, you're in a snow globe, like a Santa's snow globe. It's so cool. Thank you guys for cruising with us. Really appreciate it always. You, you guys are, you guys are awesome. I look so forward to doing these videos. Um, I love hearing from you guys. I love getting the comments. Uh, it's it's once again it's a beautiful thing. And right here is a hiking area. That's called. Uh, oh my gosh, why am I spacing it? We're gonna be doing that hike soon in the next month for sure. Space and name. Do you remember it, babe? No, you literally just passed the sign. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's the most popular hike in the area. Um, oh my goodness. I've talked about it plenty of times. I even told you guys, I think, in the last video that we're going to be taking that hike. Oh my gosh. Kids, make sure you stay away from partying and just focus on studying. <laughs> Seriously. Castle Rock. Castle Rock, Castle Rock. That is the hike. And one of, <laughs> bless you. And one of our really good good friends, you guys, uh, he's he's about 57 years old. Just just a warrior. A warrior. Um, he's lived up here most of his life and he he, wow, look at the water there. he does the most amazing hikes. Um, he goes to the top of San Gorgonio a few times each year, and in about a week, we're gonna go on our first hike with him. And yeah, that's Boulder Bay, which was just it was dry, like it, you could walk on it. Yep, yep, it was totally dry. That's exciting. It really is exciting. One of my favorite parts. Mine too, baby. lake is as full as it's been since I've lived here. I think a year or two before I lived here, it was full at one point. And then another major drought hit, hit the area. But I looked at a graph of the lake levels since about 1930. And it's, I mean, it couldn't be, uh, it's, what's that word? The, uh, um, oh my gosh. Yeah, kids, don't party too much. Make sure you study. <laughs> um, and read a book or two. It's pretty much like every eight or nine years, it, it, it goes from full to super low and then back full. It's very consistent, the up and downs, the ups and downs when it comes to the lake levels. And I, I did not realize that. That made me happier seeing that. So it made me not as concerned about our lake levels once I saw that graph. Because there was a point where I was thinking, oh my gosh, like, like we, we might get to a point where we don't have a lake anymore. Well, haven't you seen those old pictures? As a matter of fact, you could drive at, at one point, you guys, uh, you could <laughs> you could drive from the Big Bear Village up here across in, in, into Fonskin um, without uh, driving around the lake because there was no water. The whole lake wasn't empty. It, it was just parts of it were so low that 
you were able to actually do that. Pretty crazy. But the last time that happened, I think, was 60 years ago. Being that low. about everything we're we've 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 invaded their territory all the animals and we've pushed them further and further out of their own land and I feel super bad about that but you know it is what it is well you're an animal I am that you're right about that oh <laughs> you're right about that baby Manimals. <laughs> You're a manimal. I'm a manimal. I'm a manimal. But you are right. We have definitely destroyed a lot of their natural habitats, which is sad. It is. But at least there are a lot of good good people out there who do recognize that and they do try to, you know, do what they can to better that situation. Um, that restaurant on the corner that we just passed, it's called El Jacolito. Yes. That's a really good place to eat. It's another Mexican restaurant, I know, but there's a lot of me Mexican restaurants up here. There are. Um, but there that's are. a really good place to eat. They don't. They do have a Taco Tuesday, but it's not as great as. Um, no, there's nothing as great as Azteca. Azteca, yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing I think their Taco to. Tuesday at Hacolito is like two dollars and fifty cents a taco. Yeah, wow, that, that's that thing expensive. beats a dollar. I mean, that just still blows me away. Like every time I pay, I feel guilty. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> well, I mean, that's what all Taco Tuesdays usually are standard is dollar tacos that's why it's it's like uh but that but like azteca guys th those are five dollar tacos yeah they've kept it og they 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 really have they have a 10 taco limit uh-huh right baby yeah which i only eat like three of them and then i'll finish the other seven <laughs> sometimes when i'm hungry i'll eat four but um, he was actually talking about I order 10 and he orders 10 and I'm like, we don't need that many. <laughs> Maybe when you do your, your, uh, taco challenge with Albert. Yeah, totally. I think he, he's, I think he's going to smash me, but that's okay. <laughs> Did you see my message where he said he'll shave it off and I said my plan was just yeah, to yeah, as trim I'm asleep. it little by yeah. little every day until yeah. it's gone. <laughs> yeah.
But yeah, guys, we're almost done with this aftermath video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. They loved it. And as as you uh, could see from from yesterday's drive during the the heaviest part of the storm, um, it seemed like there was a lot more snow, right? So to me, it, it, it really is very interesting seeing how quickly, especially this time of year, that our snow uh, snow goes away, melts real, real quickly. Yeah, baby, let's say our, 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 our goodbyes right now. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you, guys. And uh, the little ones down here. Goodbye to the, the sleeping. The sleeping beauties. I don't really want to wake her up because she'll start biting her butt. Biting her butt again. We just had a fight about that. And then <laughs> there he is, all snuggled up, loving life. This is, this is a dream for him. This is like in between me and Luna is life for him. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> guys, seriously, thank you for everything. Thank you for, as I always say, hold on a sec. Thank you, as always, you guys, for always being here for us always being so supportive I can't tell you how much we absolutely love you guys um, as I always say my life is way different with you guys in it it's way way better than it's ever been you are the family that I've I, I've always wanted and I'm very 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 lucky that I have you guys in my life so thank you and uh, please like and subscribe uh, hit the notification bell so you get updated on when we make new videos and uh, share these videos I'd appreciate it. It would really help us out a lot. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We love Have you guys. Have a great day. Take care. Have a great Cinco de Mayo. Yes. Happy. We didn't emphasize on Cinco de Mayo, but it is. I, 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 I did a few times at the beginning of the video. We're going to go put our red, green, and uh, white clothes on right now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> going to do that. <laughs> love you guys. Thank you guys for everything. And we'll, we'll end on a... A little oh look at how cute she is she's so cute all right guys love you guys very much happy cinco de mayo stay safe out there